And now, the continuation of Hal's Kitchen. Christina? Yes, Chef. Three stars. Amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank Keep you. Keep it going. I will. Thank you, Chef. I definitely wasn't expecting that. It really is a nice boost, you know, getting that compliment from Chef Ramsay, getting that little bit of recognition. It felt real fucking good to me. It's going to be the ladies taking it to the final. Said that from day one. Yep. The vibe on the red team is oh, we're confident, we're determined. We killed dinner service tonight. I mean, we didn't just like inch by these guys. We murdered these dudes. We're all coming together, and we're about to dominate this competition. What? Like you, that was one order of spaghetti. Where to stand up? It's fucked up. You know, I, I know what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with some team members that are going to put you up because they're afraid you're going to knock them out the box, and they're afraid of the competition. But you know what? I'm still standing here. I'm still standing fucking strong, and I'm still fucking going for it, man. All I know is we're here, and that's it. That's it, dude. While some members of the blue team are feeling vindicated, others are feeling persecuted. All those sea bass went out great, and I communicated everything. I don't know why you sent me, but whatever, it's fine. Royce, he's snaky. Who's you going, Patrick? That's a punk ass move. Fuck him. And now I'm pissed. I thought that the lobsters were, were fucked on you. I didn't fuck I know, you up. No, 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 I know, but when you want to be a swarmy little prick, somebody's going to fuck you up. After a night of poor performances on the blue team, the men go to bed feeling deflated. But in the morning, Kimmy has a plan. I don't know, I was just bored yesterday. So I got down and wrote a rap. To lift everyone's spirits. <laughs> Deep down, I love to cook. Um, it's my passion, but I also have this side thing with rapping. So, you know, I was ready to show him that I could rap too. You ready? Yeah, for sure. So we in Hell's Kitchen to prove we're bitching. Started out 18, down to 11. Next thing you know, we'll be at 7. So Menza, Pat, Royce, Jay, and Brian, better get your shit straight before you go home crying. Yo, baby, yo, baby, yo. Kicking y'all's asses in all the challenges. Boys, watch out before you feel so powerless. Never has it been all girls and all black. But me and my girls about to change all that. When you feeling down, you better look around. Cause Chef has the last word in every round. Yeah. Let me tell you, I wouldn't put a nickel into that investment. Let's go, Kimmy. Rise and shine. Big smile. Let's go. We walk into the kitchen and there's this big gold sheet. It's a new car. No, um, I don't know what's under there. I honestly, at this point, I don't have a clue. As we start today, I have a question for you all. Are you feeling lucky? Yeah. yeah. Good. As you know, the winner of Hell's Kitchen this year will become the head chef at Gordon Ramsay Steak in Vegas. And let's be honest, it's a city where luck on your side can be valuable. I don't get it. What the fuck is behind this gold curtain? Just tell me. For your next challenge, I thought I would bring out a little bit of Vegas to you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit, slots. Woo! OK. I feel like awesome. I'm on a yeah. show. OK, in today's challenge, we're going to test your creativity. And we're going to let the slot machine determine what you're going to be making. Wow. Two at a time, one member from each team will come up. One of you will pull the handle when the machine stops. You'll have five ingredients, one cut of steak, and four complementary ingredients. And then you both will create that dish. I love steak. Bring me the beef. Where's the beef? Red team, there's six members in the team, and I'll only taste five dishes. So it's up to you now, very quickly, to decide who will not be getting the turn at the slots. Hurry up. It's not luck, it's okay. I really so like steaks. I'm really good at cooking steaks. I don't want to sit all out. the challenges. I don't think anybody wants to be the one to sit out. We all need that opportunity to shine. I feel good about steaks. Chef's opening a steakhouse, so I want to make a steak dish for him. We've done really well in all the challenges, so I don't want to sit out. Nobody wants to be like the person whose dish doesn't count. Like, if you're sitting out, you're obviously not proving shit. Who's sitting out? Make your decision. I'll sit out. It's cool. Okay. All right. I'll sit out. Okay. okay. Totally cool. Okay. Dana goes, me and Christina have been doing the best in all the challenges, so we don't need to sit out. You know, they want to show off their shit, let them show it. Dana and Patrick, let's go. First up, Dana and Patrick will give the Hell's Kitchen slot machine a spin to find out the steak and ingredients they will be cooking. Here we go. You're pulling for both things, remember. We've got protein, 
Flat iron. Flat iron steak? I don't, I don't buy that at home. I don't cook that shit. Potatoes. Potatoes. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Spinach. Nice. Blue cheese. Wow. Nice. Good nice. job. Oh my god, Dana has got the fucking perfect dish. Spinach, sauteed mushrooms. Like, she's got this. That's perfect combo right there. That's beautiful, guys. Christina and Royce. Awesome. Let's go. It's the Christina Royce challenge. The last time I went up against Christina, I was beaten. I was beaten, man, fair and square. Royce and Christina. Royce, three. Christina. Yay! Thank you, chef. I mean, I hope every challenge I get to go up against her. I'm going to beat this girl. I'm not stopping until she's crying. I ain't stopping. Here we go. Christina, protein is? Sorry about this. Wow. I just say, yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Eggplant. Eggplant. Asparagus. Asparagus. Delicious. That's good. Followed by crab. <laughs> wow. Royce, yeah. happy with that? Love it. Do you think you can beat Christina? Yes, chef. I ain't done with you yet. I ain't done with you. And let's go. Next up, Barbie and Brian step forward to face the one-armed bandit. Here we go. New York strip. strip. Yes. Yeah, nice. Celery, Celery root. roots. Yes. Tomatoes. Tomato. Cauliflower. Shrimp. And shrimp. Ah. Good job. Nice. Now, it's time for Tiffany and Justin to test their luck. <laughs> I really don't have much luck. Honestly, if it wasn't for shit luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. We have got yes. filet. Beets. Beets. Wow. Carrots. Yes. Zucchini. And chorizo. chorizo. There you go. My luck sucks. Carrots that are sweet, beets that are sweet, zucchini that's just like a boring vegetable. What the fuck am I going to do with these? And finally, Robin and Clemenza are hoping their steak and ingredients are the jackpot. You've got rib. First ingredient comes up, and it's fucking ribeye. I'm like, yes. Combined with hostess. Sweet corn. Oh, yeah. All right, it's, this is good. Now I'm waiting for the like the curveball to come in and be like blueberries. Broccoli. Broccoli is a little boring. Amazing. Right. Finally, bacon. Yeah, well done. Right. And I'm like, really? Bacon. All right, it's just too good to be true right now. Clemenza, happy with that? Very happy. I would bathe myself in bacon if I could. Kimmy, while you did not get a chance to pull the slot machine, you will be cooking. You need to decide which of your teammates you want to go up against. Who would you like to cook alongside? Your team will taste both of those dishes and decide which one out of both your dishes will go up against the blue team. Got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. So, Kimmy, uh, hurry up. Um, Robin. Tiffany has, oh. Like, what the fuck? So Robin. It's, uh, your dish or my dish yeah. goes up there. Yeah. She could have chose anyone, but she chooses her best friend. Now we have to go head to head against each other. Whatever, dude. What the fuck ever. So you can do a ribeye. Why? I feel comfortable with ribeye, chef. Easy as pie, man. Easy as fucking pie. I know Robin's my girl, but I'm from the South. That's what we eat all the time. 30 minutes to cook an amazing steak. Your time starts now. Good luck. Go, 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 go. After trying to get lucky with ingredients, the chefs must get creative with designing their steak dishes. Let's go. Pans on. Start searing. Each chef will have 30 minutes to complete their dish. Are you good with hanger steak, too? Um, yeah, I mean, I've cooked it before. All right. Uh, I just never with crab, eggplant, asparagus. <laughs> if I had to choose my own ingredients, definitely not what I would have chosen. Eggplant, are you serious? You know how to cook, right? You know what the fuck you're doing. Asparagus, crab meat. Like, what the fuck am I going to do with them? All right, well, come on now. Hot pan in the back is mine, small one. I'm feeling great. I'm going to beat this girl. I'm bringing a game, a game. Ring the phone. Call my mama. She'll tell you, ain't none of you motherfuckers can cook like me. 20 minutes to go. Come on. The chef. Make it count. Make sure that fucking convection gets going hot. Those ingredients, they're tough ingredients to incorporate together, and I really had no idea what I was doing. I was just I was just going with my motions. Put it all the way up. Now's my time to show Chef Ramsay what I'm made of. Man, you don't want to fuck up steaks when the man's opening a steakhouse. Salt. Salt. Go right there. I have no clue what parsnips are at, at all. So I'm just going to go and, you know, fry them bad boys. When in doubt, you fry shit. I definitely fried the bacon as well. That's the southern way, man. It always tastes good. So I'm going to fry this shit. Yeah. 15 minutes gone. 15 minutes to go. Come on. Behind, 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 coming through, yeah. coming through. I'm already thinking what I got to do against Dana and outshine her. The issue that I'm having is that we have this set of great traditional steakhouse ingredients, but the reality is 
How do you twist these now to make it imaginative and creative? So what's going through my head is season, season, season. On your back. Heard on my back. Kimmy wants to go up against my dish, that's fine. I could cook circles around her. Bitch, I got this shit. <laughs> last 10 minutes, guys. I got the rib. I got the thickest cut of, of meat. I know I'm going to be the last one on the plate, but I also know my timing is going to be to perfection. Make sure you get your meats on, guys. I'm pretty fast for a fat guy. Now we're fucking talking. Filet, that's on me. You know, I'm happy that I get a filet, but at the same time, I get stuck with like the worst list of ingredients. Is anyone else going to need the blender? I will need a blender, too. I've decided that I'm going to make like a stuffing, you know? I'm going to do something completely crazy that I've never done before, but I think it's going to work. One and a half minutes to go. Start plating. How long? 90 seconds. We've got to be in that window soon. Fuck. I'm watching Comenza, and he's moving way too slow. There's nothing you can do at that point. It's raw, it's raw. Whatever you have to do, just get it done right now. Get plating. Now I'm incredibly nervous. It's coming down to the wire. I got the steak off, and I'm like, damn it. The ribeye made me under the cook, and I don't got time to fix it. 20 seconds to go. Ah, I'm running out of time, man. Here we go. 10, ah. 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and serve. Clemenza, let's go. That's it. I don't know what's going on with the steak, but at least I've got it done. Now I'm just hoping for the best. With the cooking over, the red team must now decide whose ribeye dish will go up against the blue team. Red team, you've got one minute. Start deciding, Robin or Kimmy. Mine's who's? This is Robin's, this is mine. Mine's um, Jack. We can eat this? Um, we can eat this? I start trying to talk about, you know, my sauces, and they're talking over me. Cajun spices and then the corn. Sauce. Make your decision, please. Mine's a coffee and eggs. Coffee encrusted. Make your decision. I love Robin. Yeah, the sauce, the sauce. Robin's. Like, I know their mind was made up before. I'm so mad because I worked my ass off on this steak. Kimmy, what's the matter? I'm good. OK, let's go. The girls decided to go on my dish, and then here goes fucking Kimmy crying. Sometimes I feel like I'm dealing with a child. Listen carefully. The winner of Hell's Kitchen will become the head chef at Gordon Ramsay Steak in Vegas. So this challenge for me is critical. Let's start off with the battle of the filet. Let's go. First up, Tiffany and Justin will go head to head with their filet dishes, which also include beets, carrots, zucchini, and chorizo. Chef, what I did for you today is a truffle smashed beets, glazed carrots, chorizo cream sauce, and a chorizo zucchini cake. I'm nervous as hell. They were tough ingredients to incorporate together, and I hope Chef Ramsay likes my creativity. Wow, that's yeah, delicious. Thank I you, I mean, Chef. really delicious. I can taste the smokiness of this chorizo coming through. The beets are delicious. My biggest problem, I want to eat more. Thank Great you. job, indeed. Thank you very much. Tiffany. I have a chorizo zucchini stuffing in the filet. You stuffed the filet? I stuffed the filet. Wow, dangerous. Yes. Very dangerous. I mean, the filet is a Rolls Royce cut. You stuff a filet? Are you kidding me? It tastes good. It tastes very good. The issue is, when you stuff a filet, it's always so hard. I mean, really hard to nail, because the temperature goes. It overcooks in seconds. Congratulations, Blue Team. Justin, that's the best dish I've tasted so far. Thank you, Chef. Really good. good Thank you, Chef. Really good indeed. Yeah. Thank you very much. To hear something like that from a chef that's at the caliber of Chef Ramsay is just, it's unbelievable. You know, it feels good, man. It really does feel good. Next up, hanger steak. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Tina. Me and Royce we had just gone up against each other with the lobster challenge, so it's kind of a rematch. I know he's definitely looking for a redemption, and I'm, I'm fucking ready for it. Christina. Chef, we have a hanger steak. I have it marinated in um, lime juice, red pepper flakes. I have a panko parmesan crusted and pan fried eggplant wrapped around grilled asparagus. It's delicious. Thank you, really Chef. Really good indeed. Steak, nailed perfectly. Thank you. Love the crispiness of the eggplant. Not again. The big issue is this. You put yam on a plate, you need to give it some help. Yeah. Big time. You're right, Chef. It's a clump of dull mess. Yes. Yeah. And it's such a shame, because everything else on the plate, you've nailed. Mm -hmm. Royce. I work at a steakhouse. I know how to cook steak. It's Royce. This is what I do. I pan-seared the crab cake along with a port wine beurre blanc. Mm -hmm. I have a demi-glace mm -hmm. with the steak. I have fresh grilled vegetables, squeezed of lemon, and uh, served medium rare. It looks fantastic. 
It's got finesse. I wasn't inspired with this. It's undercooked. It's spongy and it's well fun. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. What a shame. I know that I underseasoned my yams, but I also know that Chef Ramsay didn't, you know, discard them from his mouth. It's such a shame. Because everything else you've nailed. You've got an issue with the yams on Christina's plate and an issue with your eggplants. I mean, come on. Congratulations. Come on. Come on. For the red team. Thank you, Chef. Come on. It's like, oh, man. That's two times, two challenges in a row. Poor Royce. I feel really bad for him. OK, next one is the battle of the flat iron steak. Let's go. With the score tied, it's time for Dana and Patrick to show what they were able to do with flat iron steak, potatoes, mushrooms, spinach, and blue cheese. Dana. I grilled the flat iron steak, some sauteed spinach. The sauce on top is a Cabernet reduction with wild mushrooms. It looks a mess. I'm not going to eat food that's been sat in a swimming pool. Oh, God, no. This isn't a good start. I'm just hoping that the flavor is there, the taste is there, and that he'll get over the presentation. The meat's ragged, overcooked, and it's dry. It's your worst performing dish so far. Patrick, talk to me. What is that? I have a seared flat iron steak chef with a roasted wild mushroom and red potato hash mm -hmm. and a blue cheese cream sauce. Mm -hmm. So salty. It's like you just clumped a big lump of salt in there. You've got blue cheese, which is naturally going to salt things yes, anyway. Yes. So it's just ill conceived, both of you. No points. I mean, bitterly disappointed. After poor performances from both teams, the score remains tied. Chef kicked the living crap right out of me. My wife's going to tell me, you always salt too much. So I'm sure that's going to be a a fun one at home. Now, Barbie and Brian are each hoping their New York strip with celery root, tomatoes, cauliflower, and shrimp will give their team the lead. This is my point. If Barbie beats me, I will slam my head into the first hard, blunt object I can find. OK, Barbie. I have a grilled New York strip surf and turf with a celery root mash, a roasted cauliflower, a little salad of heirloom tomatoes. New York steak's delicious. Thank you, Chef. Shrimp are cooked perfectly. Ow. Brian. Oh, Chef. Uh, what I have for you today is a New York strip tagliata. It's rosemary and Dijon crusted. On top is a little bit of celery root frite. Uh, on the side is a little bit of a warm salad. It's uh, some of the heirloom tomatoes mixed with uh, shrimp. Temperature's nailed perfectly. Cauliflower, shrimp, works brilliantly. <sighs> Tough one. Congratulations to the red team. Yeah. White and the blue team. Good job. Yeah. Really good job. Yeah. Really good job indeed. Thank God. Thank you, whatever is up there. Gracias, San Pedro. With the score tied at two going into the final round, it all comes down to Robin and Clemenza. Battle of the ribeye. Let's go. Come on, Clemenza. It comes down to the tiebreaker now. I am a little nervous at this point. I didn't really have enough time to finish that dish. Clemenza, what is that? pan seared ribeye with a uh, glazed charred corn relish with a little bit of bacon mm -hmm. and some fried uh, parsnip. I'm just going to pray that uh, that ain't undercooked my ribeye. We need Clemenza to get the point. The steak, slightly undercooked. We need Clemenza's point. It's delicious. Thank you, chef. Absolutely delicious steak. Is missing two minutes in the oven. However, you've done it justice. Thank you, chef. Right, Robin, what is it, please? Coffee and flour and crusted ribeye mm -hmm. with uh, bacon, corn, and broccoli on up here instead of kidney. That's a lot of pressure right now. I'm hoping that my dish is going to win, but Clemenza's dish definitely looks good. The frittata seasoned beautifully. Thank you, chef. Damn, the bad news is it's overcooked. Um, the rub is disgusting. It's wet, and it's soggy, and it's overcooked. Dreadful. Congratulations, Blue Team. Men win. I am the man. I hate to say it, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the fucking Mac Daddy, baby.
I'm feeling like shit that we didn't get the point, and I feel Kimmy right next to me. And of course, since she was crying, I didn't make the decision. Your teammates made the decision. Get over it. Just to confirm in my mind what went on there, Kimmy, I want to taste your dish. Bring it up. Let's go. This is the fucking crybaby's crying. Let the fucking crybaby put our steak up there. It is, it is delicious. It's almost like a sort of barbecued short rib. I knew exactly what Chef Ramsay was going to say. I knew he was totally going to say her dish was the best. I fucking knew it. All of you, come up here and take a taste of that meat. Come around here, yeah. please. Yes, yeah, Chef. Just take a lump of meat. I'll cut it up for you. Thank you, Chef. It's really great flavor. OK, it tastes good, but it looks like a fucking pile of shit on a plate. Ladies, I am sorry, but I don't know where you're coming from, because that is delicious. Wrong choice. I feel so much redemption right now, you have no idea. That proves to my team that I know how to cook steaks. I do this for a living, people. Bad choice, ladies. Yeah, you're right, Chef. Because that would have given Clemenza a run for his money, let me tell you. Blue team, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Chef. You've got a unique day to start off with. You'll be going shopping. That one of my favorite hangouts, sur la table. <laughs> Blue team with another win, and we go get to go shopping for knives and shit. What? But there's more. You're going to one of the best restaurants in California, Kamsa. Yes. <laughs> Chef David Myers has prepared the most amazing lunch for you all. I'm stoked. We're going to eat. We're going to shop. It's like a chef's dream. Blue team, good job. Well done, Justin. Now, piss off. Thank good you, job. Chef. Thank you, Chef. Red team, tomorrow in Hell's Kitchen, it's date night. You've got a very busy day ahead of you. I have a special delivery. There's a side of beef arriving. So when the beef arrives, unload the truck, bring in the carcass, and get it prepped ahead of tomorrow night's dinner service. Got it? Yes, Chef. I'm super pissed off because my dish would have won that shit. And I just know it's going to be a long day ahead of us. Come on, let's go. Today, let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Oh. Wow, that's one big half of a cow. This is a big piece of fucking meat. You're fucking kidding me. Like, this is huge, man. Like, me and Clemenza could have laid down next to each other and still not have been as big as this fucking cow. One, two, three. Oh, fuck me, dude. This is ridiculous. Like, this is definitely a punishment that the boys should be having, because how the fuck are we going to carry this? Oh, fuck me! Ah, so ah, so holy oh, shit! Oh, look at this! Oh, holy yeah. crap! That's a dead animal. Man, like the size of that. I see six chicks trying to pick up a half a cow. It's kind of funny, actually, because we've been getting our asses handed to us, and we've been getting a little abused. So uh, let them bring in the friggin' beef. Dude, you see the size of that thing? Are you kidding me? Can we get a forklift? Boys get to go on an amazing shopping spree again. No, oh, I'm pissed off as all hell. It's just not fair. It's not fair. <clears throat> Holy shit. Do you need more help in that back? Yeah. I feel like I got 250 pounds back on this ass end of this cow. I mean, it's just like I can't barely breathe. Kimmy's like. Is she going to make it? Like, is she going to be all right? One, two, two three. three. Jesus, OK, that was fun. While the women are ready to do some chopping. We're going to Sir Le Tab? The men are ready to do some shopping. Sur Can't wait. Hey! I think I'm going to get an espresso maker. I don't know. Sur is basically Disneyland for chefs. How about that, right? It's gorgeous. You want that 70 cent to go right there? Oh, what about an ice cream maker? I'll get an ice cream maker. Done. Yes. I'm like a kid in a candy store. My eyes are lit up, and I'm just beaming off the 50 million things that I see and I already won. I'm loving it. Clemenza bought half the store today. I think he bought a soda machine, a, a juicer, a peeler. He was just going nuts. He made sure he spent every penny. Don't forget the little piece of candy. <laughs> yeah, baby. While the men enjoy the spoils of victory, Sweet. the women I'm so fucking pissed. We were this close. Deal with the agony of butchering the meat. I should have felt the steaks, even though I couldn't taste them. I could have felt them. To lose the steak challenge, it's incredibly disappointing. Honestly, it's Robin's fault, and we lost. 
Dude, next time you definitely gotta sell your shit. I was trying. Robin just kept talking over me. I feel like I'm constantly getting dirty looks behind my back because I don't have enough fucking balls to do it to my face. <laughs> There's no team in a red team. It's fucking let's all turn against each other now. <laughs> Girl, this is my fucking fingers. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Nice lunch. I cannot wait to eat. Chefs, welcome. Great to have you. We're thrilled. We have a really special meal planned for you today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I'm stoked. We get to get out. We get to sit down as a team, relax again, have a nice lunch. We fucking deserve it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Animal. Please stop that. <laughs> you let the dog out of the house. You know what I mean? Go on. You can bring your taser back. It's OK. <laughs> <laughs> The guys are guys, they're young. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm older. I'm kind of acting as a uh, little bit more of the father figure. What's the matter with wow. you? I said excuse me, it was an accident. I had a reflex. Listen, young man, we will leave here right now. With, I, we will leave here right now. Take that to go. <laughs> um, you know, it's cool. It's good to laugh a little bit uh, outside of the pressure and the stress that is Hell's Kitchen. You guys can never keep it clean. No, <laughs> no. no. We can try. <laughs> Blue team's kind of bonding. Everything's good right now. We're having some fun. We're loosening up. We let ourselves relax for once, and uh, it was a really good feeling. Yeah, Thanks, great. Salute. Chin chin, chin chin in the ring. While the good times are rolling for the men's team in the red kitchen, Barbie, I think, took my knife kick. Accusations are flying. If we're gonna use other people's knife kits. We gotta respect it. Uh, mine gets used all the fucking time. I had the only doll chef's knife in here. No, I'm just saying we just gotta respect each other's knife kits. It's just how you say it, Robin. You say it with aggression. And well, you, you know what? Like... I don't change the way you speak, Kimmy, so I'm not gonna change the way I speak, you know? Robin's got this attitude today. She feels like shit because I outshined her on the ribeye today. I totally outshined that bitch, and she's totally jealous. That's all it's about. Oh, I'm not gonna talk to anybody unless I need to. That's kind of bitchy. <laughs> Kimmy thinks she could fucking talk to anyone the way she is because she's 350 and fucking 6'2". It's not gonna work. Kimmy, I don't think I'm bitchy at all. Everyone's giving dirty looks. Which means you're in that as well. I just said everybody. Oh my god, Robin, I'm not in the mood today, dude. I'm so not in the mood. I'm totally getting close to, to bitch slapping this girl today. Just quit talking or it's gonna get ugly. I don't think I need to be by her right now because she's really pissing me off. Kimmy, blah, 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 blah. Robin, just stop talking. I don't have to stop talking, Kimmy. This is going to get ugly. Oh, Kimmy, just relax. Just relax. It's ridiculous. You're just not going to be anybody's bitch. The entire day has just been ridiculous. The fighting in the kitchen, I'm so over all of it. It's a recipe for failure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was great. Hey, girls. Hello, ladies. How are you? Girls are not really talking. They look beat up. You can feel the tension in the air between these ladies. All right. Mm -hmm. Me and Robin weren't getting along at all. Uh, I don't know how we go from best friends one day to I'm going to treat you like shit. I don't get it. But I'm just going to let it go, and I'm going to kick ass in service tomorrow. That's all I can do. If I let it bother me and try to talk to the bitch, it's going to be childish bullshit, and I'm, I'm done with all the childish games. No snoring. I am definitely constantly stressed on this fucking team. The lack of sleep and the arguing all the time. I'm over it. So hopefully I'll be able to sleep tonight. I doubt it, but maybe I'll be able to get two or three hours because I need it. After a long punishing day, the red team finally has some peace and quiet. Well, maybe not exactly quiet. I am so tired. I can't sleep because Kimmy's snoring really, really fucking loud. This is annoying, just have to wake up and transfer rooms to go fucking try to go to sleep. So I'm not in a happy mood right now. I see this hobbit-like figure pop up. What's that? That is Robin. I came in here at 5.30 in the morning because I couldn't sleep because Kimmy was chopping wood. We could use not to have her there. It was just so creepy. If you see someone in here again, it's me. Dude, that's our room. Fuck that. 
Sorry, I don't mean to be mean, but sleep on the sofa, dude. Really? Really? I don't want the energy in this room changing at all. Getting mixed up with the fucking red team and their cattiness. I'm gonna be friends with you today. I'm gonna be friend, not friends with you tomorrow. That's why I don't trust anyone in the red team. I'm so fucking pissed right now. Why? Now what? They're all bitching that I slept in that room. Hmm. Are you serious? Because these fucking females are fucking catty as shit. And I wonder why I don't have any fucking female friends. Catty? Yeah. Backstabbing. Would you guys have rather me woke you up at 5.30 in the morning and ask if I could sleep in your room? It's not like they own the room, so tell them to go fuck themselves. Now my list is gonna be changing who I'm gonna get knocked off first. <laughs> While Robin ponders her team's demise up in the dorms, Patrick tries to lift his spirits with a morning ritual. Okay, kids. Let's see you first, maybe. Okay, wants to win this. This is the most emotional thing I've ever been through, of missing my family. But I'm here for a reason, and they're, they know why I'm here, and they want me to be successful. They want their dad to win. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to do it. All right, nothing left to do but to do it, brother. Today is steak night in Hell's Kitchen, and both teams are looking to put their best foot forward. We pumped up, ladies? I am. Check what we have for backup underneath so we know. I don't want to be caught in my pants now. I'm nervous going into service because it is steaks and he's opening a steakhouse. It's got to be there. We got to be on point and we got to keep it really tight today. Right. Yeah, but you know what? Get all that shit together right away because we're going to be popping real soon. Got it. Justin's a fucking machine and he wants everything perfect. Not too much, Brian. A little bit. We're good. We got spoons and all those. That would be a helpful thing, huh? Here. Like, dude, relax. We have time. Clemenza, you really need a blanching pot over here. Justin kind of micromanages everybody. He's busy fucking barking out orders. Shut your fucking mouth. Do what you got to do. If I need your help, I'll ask for it. Clemenza, check those carrots, because they weren't cooking when I checked them. You heard me? I heard. Take a fucking chill pill. You got that bacon over there, right, Royce? While Justin won't settle for less than perfection, over on the red team, they're supposed to be sliced like that. I don't fucking know, who cares? Tiffany's practices are called into question. Tiffany doesn't care about her standards, and I'm not gonna let her bring us down. Tiffany's onions, they were too thick. Tiffany! Onion is cut way too thick. Barbie's trying to do a little kiss ass today too with Chef Andy, because she thinks she's gonna win, so good luck, Barbie. Fucking Barbie, always calling people out to make herself fucking look good. Yep, these onions aren't right. Okay, great, then fix them. Barbie knows everything. She knows how to fucking cook everything. You know, she's she's the HBIC. Yeah, you know, fuck that bitch. She needs to mind her own business and worry about herself. We really don't have time for this. You know that, right? Oh, honestly, I could just break something over her fucking head right now. Tiffany, I have to redo these. Yeah, thank you, Barbie. I didn't realize you run the show. Going into service in under 30 minutes, there's now you know, this fight between Barbie and Tiffany happening. We don't have time for this today during prep. Don't fucking talk to me. Don't look at me. Just fucking get out of here. Don't fuck with me, bitch. It'd be one thing if you could actually cook on a fucking line first before you start fucking running your mouth. She is out of her mind. I have no idea why Tiffany is mad at me. I don't care. I'm not gonna let this bickering bullshit get to me. I came here for a job. Barbie and Tiffany, they're fighting. Kimmy and Robin are still pissed off. You don't have to be friends, but when we are in this kitchen, like drop all of your fucking drama at the door. That's what we have to do if we want to win tonight's service. Ladies, let's go. Line up, please. Let's go, guys. Line up, quick. Let's go. As you know, the winner of this year's Hell's Kitchen becomes the head chef at Gordon Ramsay Steak in Vegas. Tonight is steak night, so I am going to be studying every little detail, trust me. Justin, you did such a good job with that filet mignon. It's actually on the menu tonight. Congratulations. Lauren, right, thank you. Yeah, good. Delicious. Really good indeed. OK, alongside steak night, it's family night, and we have a children's menu. Nothing worse than kids getting anxious and waiting for their food. So, make it count. Yes, yes chef. OK, get on your stations. Let's go. Thanks, yeah. chef. Guys, here we go. Check your ovens, guys. This is the night I win chef's praise and admiration and get myself back on track. It's time for a good service, and I'm freaking amped, man. Let's do this. Let's do this. Ready, guys? Let's 
go, ladies. Tonight I'm on meats. There's a lot of pressure just because right now it's steak night. My steaks have to come out perfect every time tonight. Let's rock this. I'm ready to show Chef Ramsey that I'm here to win this competition. Do or die time. I just burnt my hand. Can we get a medic? Uh, what happened? Oh what happened? Can we get burnt? Yeah, bad. Oh my gosh. Clemenza, take her to the medic. Yeah, chef. Come on. Come here, you're gonna come on, be okay. Come on, come on. Come on. Shh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Come on, come on. Just stay here. Let me call and get you a medic somehow. We got a medic coming. What happened here? Hold on one second. I got two burns. I got one here and one here. So this just now happened right yeah, here, right yeah, now? Yeah. Right here, I see it. OK. Oh, my god. Oh, it hurts so bad. OK, breathe. My team needs me tonight. Hold on. You're not allowed to go back in that kitchen All right now. Kimmy has suffered very serious grease burns to her hand and arm. And now her future in Hell's Kitchen hangs in the balance. I'm pretty scared. I do not want to go home tonight. But if I can't cook, this is the end for me in Hell's Kitchen. OK, breathe. How did you manage to burn yourself all the way up there? I don't know. You need to cool the skin down. You're not going back in there. Just breathe while I do this. It's sick. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. Let's go. Big deep breath. I feel like I'm about to pass out. Be careful. Breathe. Breathe. I need you to exhale. 